A pair of bills in the Virginia legislature that could lessen the punishment for those who commit an assault on an officer are both on their way to the governor's desk. The bills are only for someone with a behavioral disorder or someone going through a mental health crisis. But some police groups believe these checks and balances already exist. Ten on your side's Amy Avery joins us now with the story. Well, Regina, right now the mandatory minimum sentence is two years in jail for assault on an officer in Virginia. But the bill's author says when someone is in crisis, their emotions and actions could be difficult to control. Her hope with the passage of this bill is that these individuals and their loved ones won't be afraid to call 911. They have loved ones who have no control over their ability to to react. A simple assault on an officer might mean that I spill some water on you. It might mean that I bump into you. Senator Jennifer Boisco says many in the autism community are afraid to call for help when a loved one is going through a crisis. That's why she worked with advocates to write Senate Bill 357, which revolves around the prosecution of those with a behavioral disorder like autism or a mental illness committing a simple assault against an officer. They're afraid of having their loved one be incarcerated because it is not a good it is not a good um, place for for them. Senator Boisco says the officer would always have the right to arrest the individual. This just gives more leeway to the judge. President of the Virginia Beach Police Benevolent Association Brian Luciano says he has been in hundreds of situations where he has had to deal with someone in crisis and believes the bill already exists with current checks and balances. We look at the situation and sometimes we go you know what no harm, no foul. They didn't mean to do it. They're fine now. I've had I've had patients apologize to me. He believes this bill devalues assault on an officer because no one else is mentioned in this. Firefighters, EMS workers can all be called to the same scene and I've seen them get assaulted, but all they're doing is cherry picking law enforcement and saying if you assault law enforcement, it's no longer a class six felony. Luciano says their opposition is not meant to disparage anyone with mental health issues, but says being in crisis is difficult to define. Not everyone who's in crisis doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't automatically forget what right and wrong is. A lot of people in crisis still understand what right and wrong is. Now, if you'd like to read Senate Bill 357 or the similar bill, House Bill 267, which both passed last week, you can do so on wavy.com shortly. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.